All right, welcome back to the Miser's Guide to Ebony. In this video, we are going to be continuing our Blazon series where we explore setting up Blazons for your troop types. Today, we're going to be focusing on ground troops. And keep in mind that this is a free to play version. I'm not, I don't have the same access to somebody that spends, buys a bunch of packs that has Blazon. So I'm going to be looking at what it means for a free-to-play player, what it looks like, and how you should go about setting up your uh, blazons for your troop types. I have about 220 blazons that I have collected since the beginning of blazons. It's a modest amount. I'm not as active in the game as I had been in the past due to obvious reasons that I've discussed, uh, but you can get blazons through... Uh, resource collection a little bit per day you can get them through activity rewards i think it's somewhere in here there it is uh junior blaze on chest uh you can get them through packs you can get them through where else did they say uh killing sphinxes so monitor competitions you know that sort of thing um so you can collect them along the way you access the blazons by going to any of the training camps um, barracks will take me directly to the ground troops, uh, but you can go to any of them and you can just scroll through and uh, we're going to be looking at ground troops today. Ground troops, there are two primary sets for ground troops. We have justice and we have sacrifice. And as I discussed in the range video, uh, there are elements that tell you which slot each blazon belongs in. Um, so my goal here in this video is to take you through as I take my very first glance at blazons for ground troops, see what I've rolled for basic attributes and how I'm going to set up. Now, the way that I personally use ground, um, I do use them offensively. We have rallies and so on that use ground troops. Um, but for me, I have a, a really strong need of ground troops defensively as well. So I will probably set up my, uh, my blazon set to be defensive but I'm okay with either offensive basic, basic attributes or defensive basic attributes because they're useful in either case. And some people are going to be a lot more offensive and they'll want to do the offensive set. And that is more than reasonable. I just don't have as strong a ground setup offensively as I do defensively. Um, so I'm going to be focused more defensive in this case. But you do what works for you. You pick the route that you want to go with. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look quick at the sets. We're going to look at justice first. I'm just going to go ahead and click justice for everything so we can kind of see uh, the justice set bonuses at the bottom. So for the full justice set, we have marching, ground troop attack, defense, and HP plus 10%. And we have some debuffs when attacking. Let's unequip these and let's take a look at the other set. The other set is Sacrifice. So let's go ahead and equip all Sacrifice Blazons. And this is probably the one that I'm going to go with because it is defensive focus and that's just what I want to do. When defending, um, enemy troop attack debuffs, enemy range debuffs, and defending ground troop attack defense and HP plus 15%. So I'm going to get buffs for my ground troops uh, when I'm defending, but also I'm going to get some debuffs that are going to reduce the stats of the enemies that are attacking me. So this is what I'm going to go with, Sacrifice, but you pick the one that works for you and that will be most useful for you. All right, so we're going to start off and remember that we are looking at Sacrifice. Um, so I'm going to skip over all the justice and I'm just going to look at the basic attributes for the sacrifice. Now these basic attributes, they roll randomly. I could get some really good stuff and I could get some garbage ones. Um, but since I use ground troops offensively and defensively, even though the set bonus I'm going to go with is defensive in nature, I'm going to be looking at stats that are just useful. Um, ground troop attackers versus monsters is not useful. Reinforcing ground troop attack is semi-useful, but it's not something that I'm really looking for. Ground troop training capacity, no thank you. Attack on monsters, garbage so far. 
reinforcing not great in rally is good that's offensive um but i'm still hoping for something better this is better in rally ground troop attack so this is all offensive marching is offensive but like i said i use it offensively i use ground troops offensively in rallies all the time in battlefields so even though it's not defensive nature like my set bonus these are still useful basic attributes so i'm going to go with that um, over here i've got sacrifice in rally ground troop load in rally works for me ground troop load does not i'm hoping there's better no, that is awful. Why would you roll that? Marching ground troop defense. Yes, this one I like. So ground troop defense will work offensively and defensively. It's a smaller number, but it's more versatile in nature. Marching will only work offensively. So that's when I'm attacking or it should work in rally as well because technically that's marching. Um, so, so far that is my, my selection. It's one, two, three, four, the fifth one gotta remember that this is awful awful oh terrible no okay i'm going with that fifth one where are you right no right here okay offensive it is uh let's look at more sacrifice in rally and marching i like it ground troop defense oh the monsters killed that Defending, nice. Monsters, not nice. Training capacity, no thank you. Monsters, okay. So I'm going to go with the offensive one again. In rally group, G, uh, group ground troop defense and marching ground troop defense it is. I'm liking it so far. Like these are, even though they are offensive basic attributes, they're still useful to me. Okay, over here we have reinforcing ground, no, thank you. Monsters, no. Come on, load. Oh, that's my. That's all I've got. That is awful. Oh, okay. So I have the choice between 1.2% load and got 0.9% defending ground HP. That's probably what I'm going to go with. Yeah, I have no choice. I have to go with this one, even though I have this ground troop HP on monsters, which will never be used. The 0.9% ground troop HP defending is useful. So I've got one useful basic attribute. This is an example of one that I wish it had rolled twice, but unfortunately it did not. So I'm stuck with what I've got. Um, it's something that if something better comes along in one of the junior plays on chests that I get, I will replace that. I'm probably not going to upgrade that. These three are upgradable. They are useful and I will upgrade them. This one, I'm going to be looking at replacing. Sacrifice over here. We've got two more slots to go. Reinforcing and ground training. No, thank you. Training, even worse. In rally, ground troop HP. Nice. Defending. Nice. This is a good one. Sacrifice. Okay. Uh, what else we got? All right. So I'm going to go with this one. At least I have one good one there. And the last slot I have, defending would be good, but ground troop training capacity, awful. What else? Two more options. Defending, training capacity, no thank you. Marching, and in rally. So even though I'm defensive setup, and this would be more useful, the training capacity just kills it for me. And this one's the same thing. I've got training capacity. So if I had like an offensive or some other kind of defensive one here i would have gone with one of those but i would much rather have two useful basic attributes for sacrifice even though they're offensive than i would just one defensive so i'm going to go with that and that is going to be my current setup before upgrading i'm not going to do like i said in the other video i'm not focused on upgrading yet i'm just going to go through and lock all these so that they are safe and i think my ground is looking okay it's it's looking like a good start before i upgrade i've got my nice sacrifice set all set up and i've got some decent basic attributes i mean the the numbers right now are underwhelming but after we start upgrading and we unlock new attributes and uh the the numbers go up a bit it will look a lot better um that's about it for the ground troop blazons 
Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.